Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. Just a quick little video for you today. Basically, we're going to be taking a look at some Cine Sticks from Scotty Make Stuff. I featured a few of their products in the past. They make some really interesting 3D printed products. Now, perhaps you've seen other retailers offering what they call Cine Sticks. Usually, they just tend to be a little bit longer, supposedly helping you with really fine control. Now, the Cine Sticks from Scotty Make Stuff are a little bit different. Basically, what they do is add resistance when flying. And that's usually the problem that people have when you're flying and you're trying to get some really smooth cinematic shots any little twitch or movement is really going to show up in the video by adding a little bit of resistance you're not going to get as much unwanted input you actually have to really put some pressure in order to make the calculated move that you're trying to make and they actually work really good I was a little bit uh, apprehensive about them when I first uh, first got them how well they would actually work but it actually is quite remarkable having that little bit of resistance makes a big difference when flying and the nice thing about this setup is you can adjust the resistance to increase the resistance all you have to do is twist down on the sticks that's going to put more pressure on the rubber there and it's going to increase the resistance so you can kind of fine tune it to what you find best and as you can see here in front of me they make a version for multiple controllers we have the rc pro here the dji rc and of course the RCN1. The set here for the RCN1 will also work with the new Autel controller, the one for the Evo Lite and the Evo Nano. So for this particular set, you can use them on multiple controllers. Now I've just taken them apart here just to show you how they go together. When you purchase them, basically this is what you get. You get your center stick, which just screws in. You get this rubber piece, just goes down over top. There's a little metal cap. And then the thumb piece that screws in on the top. And that's basically it. So I've been using these now for a couple weeks and I've really enjoyed them. Now I will say that they're probably not something that I will use on a regular basis, you know, because it depends how you fly. If you need to fly fast and aggressively, these probably are not the best option, you know, but I will keep them in my camera bag for those times when I am filming cinematically and I know I want to get nice smooth shots. These are actually quite good for those scenarios. Or you may just keep them in your camera bag and just pull them out once in a while when they're required. Now the only thing I have noticed that if you are a thumber, you do have to be a little careful when you're flying forward. Myself, when I'm flying forward, I usually don't have my finger at the top pushing forward. I usually just press it from the bottom up. But with these, you do have to pay attention a little bit because if you're just pressing forward, it's easy to kind of slip off to the side. So that is something you do want to keep in mind. So yeah, all in all, a great little product. They work well on every device. I like how you can adjust them to suit the tension that feels best to you. Just overall, a really great product. So what I'll do is I'll include the links down below in the description of this video if you do want to go and check them out further. And I'm actually really curious if you already own a set of these Cine Sticks, what your thoughts are, let me know down in the comments below. Well folks, that's basically it for this video. Like I said, just a quick video going over the Cine Sticks from Scotty Make Stuff. Hopefully you found this video had value. Give it a thumbs up if you did. It's always greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.